So Tamara University of Applied Sciences was coming from many different angles. So one of the things why we said, we need to do this, we need to change something, was to enrich the way how education actually works, to use technology to make education more effective. Christian was sitting uh, at home and during the pandemic doing homeschooling and his kids were falling asleep uh, while being in Zoom calls. And uh, I was running boot camps here at beautiful Tequatir and they even worked better online uh, during the pandemic because we had uh, in one of the boot camps 500 participants from all over the world all of a sudden. So you could connect to a global community of change makers. And uh, Christian and I, we know each other for 15 years and we started talking and we said, well, this is something, this is an opportunity that we have to seize where we need to get together and use technology to actually make uh, education work better. Because so far what we've seen in the past 15 years is technology giving access to knowledge. So we see a lot of video uh, tutorials and knowledge is made accessible. But now is the time to use technology to go one step further. We need to go beyond this. And that's why Tomorrow University of Applied Sciences develops a technology that is for challenge-based learning, problem-based learning. That's the one angle. The second angle um, is that we really need to educate change makers for the 21st century. Everybody needs to be equipped with the 21st century skills to solve problems, the big problems of our time, like the climate change that we're facing, but many more things, not only climate action. There's things that we need to fix in this world. And above all, we need people to do that. And they need the skills and the right competencies to actually drive change. And that's the big mission that we want to educate 1 million change makers by 2030 through our degree programs, the master programs, the bachelor programs, but also the open challenges. And that's why we're here. And that's why we will be here for quite some time.